Hi, my name is Tenley Bredding and I'm a tax consultant with the Walters Kluwer CCH Training and Consulting Department. In this video, you are going to learn how to use a list tool in the CCH Access Tax application. There are several reasons you may want to incorporate the list tool into the preparation of your tax returns. Use the list tool to create a list of numerical amounts that you want totaled in a field. The list dialog box keeps a running total of your entries and then inserts the total in the selected field. Once you've created the list, a white paper statement will be generated and included in the accountant's copy. This list can be proformed over into the next year's tax return to help build an internal audit trail. Let's go ahead and create a list in the CCH Access Tax application. It's really easy to create a list in CCH Access. In fact, you can insert a list in any numerical input field. Just select the field you'd like to contain the list, come to the home ribbon, and click on that list tool. That's going to open up the list dialog box. Now the first thing you'll probably want to do is you'll want to name or give your list a title. In order to do that, click in the caption field and change that caption to the title or name of your list. We'll call this one Gross Receipts. Now below the caption, you'll see three columns. We have the description, amount, and the prior year column. This list was actually created in the prior year tax return, and when we rolled this tax return forward, it contains or keeps the list in here with prior year information, and that's what we see in this prior year column. You'll also notice that the prior year descriptions are here as well. I can just easily enter in my current year amounts now without having to type in the description. Now to enter a new description, just click in the description field and start typing that description. Remember, you can continue to tab and type to enter in your new information into this list. A running total is kept at the bottom of the list. Now if you need to keep your list in a specific order, know that there are options to insert or delete a line within your list. Once you've finished creating the list, hit OK to insert the total into the field. In the top left hand corner of that field you'll notice a green square and that indicates that that field contains a list. Let's go ahead and look at the white paper statements in the accountant's copy. You'll find all of the lists created in the tax return underneath the list and notes bookmark. And that concludes our presentation on the list tool. My name is Tenley Bredding, CPA and tax consultant with Walters Kluwer CCH. Thanks for watching. For more CCH Access training resources, please visit our training and consulting webpage.